So, welcome y'all to another episode of the Excel Tribesman Podcast. My name is Kirkland. I am your host. I've never said that shit before. I don't know why I did that today. But, um... <laughs> I have with us a special guest. He's an inspiring big and tall model. His name is Big Zoe or Lonzo. However, he wants to be, you know, introduced to the world. Any one of those, I guess, would work. Yes. So tell the people about yourself. Um, and let's get let's dive in. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I'm 30 years old, uh, six five. Well, my full name is Lonzo L. Wilson. Uh, I was born and raised in Chicago. I uh, lived in the South Suburbs for about most of the majority of my life. Currently, I'm working at Walgreens uh, corporate office, and I also work for the University of Illinois at Chicago as their sports broadcaster, camera operator. Uh, currently, right now, the... Yeah. Go ahead, continue. Yep. Right now, though, the shutdown, with the shutdown, that hasn't really happened. Right now, well, with the shutdown, that hasn't happened. So I had to, I'm just with Walgreens right now. Cool. Listen, get it how you live. I always used to see photos of, well, at the time, I didn't know who you were. But on Instagram, I always saw photos of you right. in front of a camera or, like, managing a camera. And... I just mm-hmm. I didn't know who you were. I just used to see you, like you under the hashtag. Um, and mm-hmm. then what happened was I saw you in a photo with one of my friends who also lives in Chicago. And I was like, that's that guy we seeing on hashtag. <laughs> okay. So that's that. okay. That's it. Yeah. I found you on Twitter. And I'm like, I remember you posted the photo. I don't know. Do you have a Jeep? Is that a Jeep? So I have a Honda CRV. Maybe that's what it was. So I saw you you posted yep. a photo of you kind of getting out of a car, but you like one leg was down and you was in this like green outfit. Um was, oh like, yeah. Ooh, I was fresh that day. And <laughs> I said to myself, this guy needs to be on the vlog. So I yeah. sent you, I believe I sent you the information. I don't know what happened to it because when I clicked on it, something happened. The click, the link didn't work. Well, I was to- like, okay, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what happened. But I mean, I, I definitely want to be on. I definitely want to be on that though. It's okay. This is, I got you on here. Now I got you on here. Live right. and in color. Sure. Um, so that for me was. <laughs> you know, where I, where my introduction to you came in. Um, so I want to talk yeah, about your goals. Mm-hmm. You, are, uh, you are a big and tall guy. So you are the, you are both. Cause you know, some of us are just big. Some of us are just tall. Some of us are both. And you <laughs> happen to be both. Right. So as a guy who represents both, um, I see a lot on your tweet, Twitter, about how, you know, it's a struggle sometimes to be a big and tall guy. So talk about some of those yeah. things. Um, you know, relate to the people. <laughs> well, most of the times when I go shopping, it's difficult because <laughs> you're not only looking, I'm not only looking for tall clothes, but I, look, I got to look for clothes that fit me comfortably. Because most of the time when they think of tall, it's skinny. And it's like, there's no way I'm skinny. And even if I drop the weight that I have now, I'm still a thicker guy. So I'm looking for clothes that are not only tall, but legit bigger, that are not too big, but fit me comfortably. And that's normally really hard. That's why I tend to stay away from dress clothes because dress clothes are always either too big or they don't fit. So I have to get them tailored. And I'm not trying to get my clothes tailored because that's money I'm really not trying to spend on a time where I'm only wearing the clothes maybe once or twice. Well, first. So it's difficult. Yeah, it's difficult in that. Well, first, this would be my suggestion, my first suggestion, right? Mm -hmm. So I would suggest 
like it, I feel like everyone needs basic. Well, it's not basics per se, but I'll say the basics in your closet, right? So what? I'm not even gonna front. That suit y'all just saw me in from Johnny Big, that was that is my first official suit in life. Okay. So I'm 32. Don't feel worried. Okay, take your time. <laughs> I'm I'm not a suit guy. I don't like suits. That's not my thing. But mm -hmm. I said so the so Johnny Big presented me with the opportunity to uh you know be be work for them. So I decided, I was like, you know what, let me, let me, let me do something, you know, let me do something a little different, you know, and I saw they had suits on their website, um, their suits mm -hmm. aren't expensive, well, let me say, let me not say expensive, let me not say expensive, let me okay. say their suits are not high priced because okay who so you, affordable so like affordable range see I, you know what i noticed is as my life changed <laughs> what i think is affordable is no longer affordable everybody yeah no okay true right as you step up in life things change i get it right so the same for me i i get it so it's a 270 dollars suit okay. i don't think that's too crazy in price but it may be a little higher than it's normal. really it's really not it's really not i mean unless you can you did you get did you pay it in increments or did you just pay it flat out You better get your you better get your bag. I know that's pleasant. I'm not mad at all. You get your you get your coin. I, as a black man, getting his coin. Oh, we just stayed a we just stayed a prosperous king. I, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to be streets. I really. Woo! I wake up every day. Hi, how I'm gonna take over the world? So they are. That's my, that's my plan. Mm. I know that's I know that's right. But um, I don't think that's really expensive for a suit. Um, but you know, I did also I did have to pay to get it tailored. Um, okay. okay. Because the suit comes untailored. But what I, I just, that's a lie. I just lied to y'all in these streets. My first suit <laughs> was when I was thirty. Okay. All right. Okay. Now that suit was wow. expensive. I was just gonna say, what type? What type of what type of suit was it? Um, it's a it's a it's from a company called Bonobos. Oh, okay. Um, they're like semi. They're contemporary. Um, they're like semi custom, so they're not totally custom. Okay. But you can't walk into their store and buy anything. You can only walk into the store to see the fabric. To possibly try, well, they they have our size, but you can try it on. But <laughs> you can see what the right. fabric looks like. Um, okay. Um, well, at that time, they were just launching Plus Men. So, you know, it's been two years now. So they had just launched yeah. it. So there wasn't sizing available in store for you to try on. But I believe they do mm -hmm. have now, and I think they have a Chicago store. But uh, Bonobos was my first suit, and that suit was expensive i think on anybody's and you know it's it's expensive but it was good and you know the 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 funny thing the funny thing too when i think about suits and clothes uh yeah. like i've been wanting to i've wanted to be a model for a while now but i knew at first i had to get comfortable with myself and it's really gotten to a point now where I've just gotten to the point where I started posting the pictures that I do now and really understanding my body type, which angle works for me and things of that nature. And I even wanted to, I low key want to be a photographer as well. Uh, I bought a camera and everything, you know, during the, pan yeah, during the pandemic, because I have a lot of friends in that field. So I kind of shadow them a lot of the times 
you know, getting feedback, trying to see what they do, learning other people's body types, because I know that's an important thing. Um, really learning, because once I turned 30, I kind of told myself, I got to get out of my own way. If I don't get out of my own way, I will stop. I will stop. I'm stopping a lot of my blessings from coming in because I'm scared of what may or may not work. And I got to stop doing it. Get you know, out. I, that's the thing. That's a conversation I have with myself constantly. You know, I'm don't like, be girl. like you. We, yeah, like everybody wants, like everybody genuinely wants success, but some people, or a lot of people, are scared of it because they're scared that it might not happen. Well, of course, it's not going to happen if you don't even put forth some effort to it to start it. You miss a hundred percent of the shots. So, too. right. That I had to get out of my own way, <laughs> and I'm still learning how to get out of my own way. <laughs> I haven't passed it, <laughs> so I don't want. I don't want people to listen. To, I don't want people to listen to this podcast and be like, "Oh, he, he, he completely has it. He got his way." No, sis, <laughs> I still get in my own way sometimes. So this is a work in progress. Yes, I can imagine. So, um, so one of the things that I was just talking about actually on the last episode of my podcast was that how I learned to get out of my own way was. It was a long five-year process, but the mm -hmm. first step was buying a mirror and not buying any mirror, buying a full-sized mirror. Ooh, yes, sir. Come on, full-size mirror. Yeah. Right, because I needed to see all of myself. And I needed to see no, me just... every day. Right. And I just have. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it changed my life because up until 20, up until 20, 25 I never owned a mirror period um okay and then I think maybe around 25 26 just I bought a mirror but it was like one of those like square mirrors so it's like I can just see right. the teeth in it and and um I, I, you know my best friend came to me she was like how come you never have any mirrors and I was like I don't know and that sat with me for a lot of years. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know why I don't have a mirror. Why don't I have a mirror? Get a mirror. So now I have a full, a full wall length mirror right here to the left of me that I see myself in every day. And I and really I think that was the catalyst to me learning to love myself. Um, I tell people it's a gradual process, but start with looking at yourself like just when you're getting dressed, start there, right? So whenever you're putting on your clothes, get dressed in the mirror. Then, because there's two faces. You have to learn to love your body inside and outside of clothes. Yep. And so yep. you do the same, like, before you put on your underwear, before you get dressed. Like, look at yourself completely yep. naked. Learn to love all of your body. I'm telling you, once you learn to do that, the way you really learn to take up space that way, because then you learn to love all of yourself and you don't try to, you know, be small or minimize yourself in any type of way. You know what I mean? So yep. that's definitely Agreed. one lesson I can say to help, you know. And then when you're looking in the mirror, tell yourself this. Ooh, bitch, get out the way. Okay, but you know another another thing too. I tell myself this: you got to learn how to love yourself even when you don't have a haircut. Wait, is this is? Did you tell yourself this during the pandemic? Is you telling yourself? <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. I've never uh, took so many selfies without a haircut. The pandemic really taught me. How to love myself without a haircut, cause child, I went maybe a month and a half without a haircut. I was all over the place. I couldn't believe it, and it was one of those things. I was like, "Woo!" Can we talk about? Yeah, how, I was looking can, ugly. can we talk about how he didn't want to come on here yesterday because he didn't have a haircut? Y'all, can we talk about that? This is a work in progress. When you said podcast. I said, okay, so I'm going to look a certain way so I can look presentable. It's, it's a little different. Anytime people say podcast to me, 
since I went to school for media, like I take that serious. This is more of, it, it wasn't me just to look good for myself. This is to represent the platform you have and me at the same time. That's why all my looks have to be a certain way. Cause I remember, I will never forget that my professor told me while we were in school, he said, when you work in media, you're always prepared. You never know what's going on. That's why I always have to, and it's funny because even still now, I still have that mindset. It doesn't matter where I go. I can go to the store. Like I always, <laughs> I'm always prepared. Cause I just, I never, I never know what's going to happen. Cause okay, I'll, I'll give you an example. Mm-hmm. So one time I went to UIC, I went to UIC, we had to broadcast the game. I don't know who was going to be there. No one said nothing. But um, a Hall of Fame, a Hall of Fame basketball player just so happened to come in that day, and I looked a hot mess, hot-ass mess. You know, when you work in media, you know, because I've worked at Northwestern before. I've worked at um, – I've went to UI. I went. I went to um, U of I before. You run into you run into different people. It mm-hmm. it's a thing. And I've always and actually when I worked at Northwestern, I ran into like one of my uh, one of uh one of the broadcasters that I look up to that do NCAA uh call, you know NCAA sports. Okay. Like I met him. Really cool. But I was you know that was just me. That's just you know another example of how you always have to be prepared. Because you just don't never know who you run into. Um, I just try my best never to get caught lacking. So okay. that's why, uh, you know, it wasn't, you know, that, that's why the haircut had to be done. I'm like, I'm, I, I'm, and then, mind you, I used to have my own. I used to do my own shows, my own podcast a while back. Um, it's been a while since I've done it, though. When I, uh, I, went, I went through, I had one of those moments where you have a drive, you have a passion. It kind of falls down. And that's what happened to me. It went, it went, it went, it went flat. I, I will admit that. Uh, being on this podcast now is really refreshing. And now that the consistent money is back, I'm kind of thinking about getting back into it. I just don't know how to go about it. Um, it's not really one of those moments where I'm in my way per se. It's just when I want to do something, I want to make sure it's done the way I, I envisioned it. That's just the creative, you know, that's the creative side. You know, you ain't going to do something unless you can bring your vision out in full effect. No, nah, do it fucked up. <laughs> what? Because it's yeah, like, okay. I'm saying that because I'm saying that because I'm looking back. Like, first of all, if you were to listen to the audio in my first few podcasts, all you hear is cars passing by. Oh my god. The worst audio ever. The first time I did a video, I'm not even in focus. Like like when you start at the bottom, the only way up, only way from there is what? Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's true. That's true. You like hey. So I'd start somewhere. <laughs> do it with the bad audio. Do it with your iPhone. Do it with your if you have an Android, you don't have to say good on an iPhone. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> your iPad, whatever you got, do make that work. I mean I think consistency is key, not quality. Quality comes with time. Consistency just makes you better because after you see yourself the first time, you're going to be like, okay, what did I do wrong? Why did it look like that? How do I make it better? Right. Next episode, you you probably figure out, oh, there's a setting I didn't do. Oh, look, I look a little better. Or, you know, the next few times you're like, okay, you know, how can I get better sound? Okay, let me start doing some, you know, YouTube, you know, how can I find mics under $30 that are good? It's like, you know, you'll get there, but you got to start first. Right. Well, for me, start back. <laughs> start back. I just, I have, yeah, uh, man, I just came, I came across, because I had posted one of my old commercials that I did when I was back in school, and doing that, I, so I used to do a, uh, an internet radio show at my school. I used to do it faithfully, like, every, was it every Friday? 
So it'd be every like Wednesday and Friday. Man, I had so much fun. <laughs> it's just been so long. Well, you know, I stopped going because you know I, I owe them some money, and uh, that's you know I had to <laughs> yeah I had to slow down with that. But it's a genuine thing, and like because I love sports, I can talk sports all day. That was my thing. I mean, most of the people like yeah, it's man. <laughs> I don't know. You got me thinking now. When I when I get off of here, I'm going to write some things down and start. Uh, you know. <laughs> get to work. I right, gonna have to. <sighs> okay, so now let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's talk about because I know, like we talked uh, at the beginning, shopping. Shopping is a problem. So I want to talk yeah. about where do you shop? Since shopping is a problem, you have on clothes. So where did you get them from? <laughs> okay. I just looked at my for Hold on. For I answer this question, I got about 8% left on my battery. I should have. I was doing some running around. should probably plug that up. I... There's no plug close to me, <laughs> but I'm gonna answer it. I'm at, I got you. Burlington, Walmart are literally my go tos. Burlington and Walmart. Now, the reason why I say Burlington, Burlington is literally one of my favorite places because they have a nice big and tall section. And if you do a 2x, 2x tall. And, you know, I found some nice, nice button ups. If I don't, you know, my gut don't get any bigger than what it is. Because uh, <laughs> I like to eat. <laughs> they got a nice set. They got a nice section. Burlington has a nice section. Now, now I will say, hold on, because I will say Burlington's, the quality of their, like, shorts and whatnot, I would say be careful. Because I just brought my, I just got my shorts back from the cleaners. And, like, you know, I got thick thighs, and my thighs ripped through the shorts. I had a big, I had a big rip. I said, y'all, my thighs, <laughs> my thighs are too thick. I can't. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this. I was so hurt. I said, these are my favorite shorts. And then, like, I had to realize, oh, wait, I'm not, I'm not poor. So, I guess, I guess I can go get them, I guess I can go get them fixed. <laughs> so, I did that. But that's the only thing I would say, be careful of. But other than that, Burlington is my go-to, and I like, well, I love Walmart. Walmart is where I get all my nerd shirts from. Because like this shirt here, a lot of people like this shirt. Walmart. I got this, I got this shirt. Yep. No, uh, Burlington, actually. Oh. People sleep on, um, people sleep on Walmart, but. Walmart. Very sleep. Walmart be lit. Walmart. Walmart is very late. Walmart is my store. <laughs> yeah, Walmart is very late. Very, very late. I'm looking, I'm looking right now thinking. Well, you are. Uh. Uh. Trying to tell you. So. I got these shorts here from Walmart. They oh, those are huge. They say now. Now what's that? Now, now what size are those? <gasps> Wait, but I didn't pay eleven for them. I paid five for them. This is thirty. Uh, man, now if they got a forty-two or forty-four, hmm, that'd be my issue. I need to. I need to find a forty-four. I don't know. That's an issue. They have. Hmm. I've seen up to 60 at Walmart. Let me see if I can find a, a cable. outlet around. Cause or, well, just an outlet so I can plug up. If not, we got ourselves an interesting conversation. We're going to have an interesting conversation here. Let's see. Damn, all these cords. Uh, I mean, but that's all right. This is not going to be the first and or last podcast. So, I mean, 
No. Nah. Okay. I can't find one. That's fine. Where That's you, all right. I got 7%. Ah. I am at 7%. We can finish this interview with, with what yeah. you do. And then you plug yeah. it up after. <laughs> um, I'm going to cut all right. Um, So... I figured you. I figured you would. <laughs> I was like, you, you got it. You had it, man. So you got it. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to remember what else. I just lost my chair, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> okay. So, what I wanted to know. So you told us you like to shop at Walmart, which is one of my favorite places to shop. So you mm -hmm. shop at Burlington and Walmart. All right. So, I feel like it's my responsibility um, to, I feel like um, I started a Facebook group that actually I want to do better at doing Facebook groups. I have 2,600 okay. in this Facebook group, but I just find it okay. hard to manage the Facebook group. But I'm getting back into it because I see, um, you know, so I have like three questions you have to answer before you, I accept you into the Facebook group. And one of the questions is, what right. is your biggest struggle? And there are two things I find. Well, three things, which is kind of fashion in general. It's where do I find shoes? Mm -hmm. You know, for people with size 14 and up. Where mm -hmm. do I find pants that fit comfortably? Um, and where do I find shirts that are big enough to cover my belly? Those are the questions, the three questions I get a lot. You had me at cover my belly when I left my arms up. Oh, you be knowing. I, oh, I know. You better Every talk that. Is. You better talk that talk. You better talk that talk. Mm. One hates that. So. I find the secret to that is getting a, a high hem shirt. So a shirt that's rounded at the, uh, rounded at the sides. So the, the edges are okay. rounded. And then get a shirt where the front is longer than the back or they're both equally long. Okay. That's where I find to solve that problem. So like, Perfect. I'll, I'll get. I have two examples here. I have that one. I actually love that my clothes are right behind me. This is my favorite part. Right. I love the. Ooh, I love the uh, living blessed shirt. Actually. Oh, this. Yes. Man. Man, that's a that's a nice one. Thank you, sir. No. Actually, I'm a big nerd also, I need to say on the podcast, because I'm definitely waiting on uh, Marvel uh, Avengers to finish downloading on my Xbox. So I heard you say that. Just for the, you're not leaving the house. Just for the audience. Just, oh, definitely. I had to tweet that. I said, so I just bought Avengers? Not leaving the house. <laughs> oh, oh, I like shirts like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Always covered. Yeah. Your so get a shirt that's like low high like that, and you'll be good. For pants. Now, where do you get shirts? What do you get shirts like that from? Though this shirt is actually from a brand called MVP Collections. Um, this is actually okay. this is also a black-owned brand. So if you want to support. Um. So this is started by the um, All-Star baseball player Mo Vaughn. Since you like sports, I figure you might know him. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm excited now. This that's one. Oh, you know what? We can add that as a place to shop. MVP collections. That's a great content. Well, I mean, might as well. We name we name dropping, especially as black on too. Name drop it, baby. Mm. Put a little salt. A little oregano, put a little yeah. seasoning. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So that's a great high low for shorts or pants. My suggestion would be to get anything with stretch in it. 
So when you look at the, I was about to say ingredients, my fat ass, I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> when you look at the- It's cold. I mean, it's cold. So when you're looking for pants, look for something where when you're looking at the, what is it called? Not ingredients. So it's like, I, I know what you're talking about. It's at the waist, like it'll stretch a little bit because I got some jeans from Macy's. Was it JC Penny's? Like no, no, it was Macy's. And their pants, you know, they got a bigger tall section, and they, their pants kind of like stretch at the waist. Those pants are very comfortable for me. Well, so. it's, well, stretch they stretch. At the waist is one thing, which I I like stretch at the waist. But you need fabric. The word I'm looking for. Look for okay, okay, okay. um where it says I don't know if you guys can read this. Oh, this is what they be doing on YouTube, huh? <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> it says elastane. Like, look for that. Okay. So that means the entire shorts stretch, not just the waist. Not just it. Ooh, okay, got it. You stretch here. You see that? Ooh. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you stretch right. there. Right. You stretch here. Because this is important. Yeah. And for those of us who have, you know, a lot of ass, it stretches here. See? Well, I don't have an issue, but you know, I got it. Some of us do. So when you get pants like these, you'll it'll you'll always um you'll it'll always be comfortable to you. So like even if you gain a few pounds, yeah. you'll still be all right. You lose a few pounds. You put it in the dryer, you'll still be all right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's kind of what mm -hmm. I thought, like as a tip to like how to solve the problems. Now for the shoe problems. I got Sorry. something up my sleeve. I'm working on it because I haven't, I only like to recommend brands that I've worked with before um, that I know for a fact are great brands. So I haven't worked with this shoe brand yet, but this nice. brand is saying that they go up to size 18. Mm -hmm. So I am, you know, I'm about to start conversations with them. If things go well, I'm about to blast them from the heavens because listen, listen, the number one question I've gotten over the last five years besides how to become a model, is where do I find shoes for big feet? That's the number one question. And so I've been working- Well, shockingly, my feet, shockingly, my feet aren't even that big. Like I do 12 to 13, pretty average, I mean, pretty normal big man feet. So a lot of shoes surprisingly fit me. Uh, I really don't even have a shoe problem like that. That's actually the, the kicker. Um, so I float between, I float between a 12, and a 13, depending on how the shoe is made. And it actually irritates me because they make shoes now where you have to get a size up. And it bothers me a little bit. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like my feet is getting smaller. It's weird. But I get that. I get that. It was, I think eh. they're trying to make shoes to form to your feet. So you have to get a size up. That's the struggle I, I run into. But I mean, at the same time, though, once you do get the shoes like that, once they form to your feet, they do tend to get, they get comfortable, they get more comfortable over time. And that's kind of the thing that I had to get into. Comfortable shoes that still look dope. I'm so glad I got out that, oh, I'm going to get these shoes because they're cute, but they're not, no, I can't, I, no. I, I definitely cannot and will not. I'm so glad I got out of that. Your feet is the thing you don't compromise on. Nope. 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 Stand on it all day. It took me at least it took me at least two hours to find shoes that were comfortable for me. That's why I hate going shoe shopping. I almost hate it now. Oh. I can't buy shoes on I can't buy shoes online because if I buy them and I try them on and they're not comfortable. So Well, you know, read the reviews. Reviews are one thing. How how I have how I feel in them is something completely different. I got you. Well, that's definitely an issue I'm still looking to solve. So hopefully, in the coming, you know, 
weeks I can solve that problem. But those are definitely some of the things that I just wanted to like, you know, ways on how to kind of, you know, get your, get your content up. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, so <laughs> Absolutely. we were talking, so you've been posting photos that I think are dope and worthy of putting on the internet for about a year now. So how long have you wanted to be a model and what steps are you going to take to actually do it so that, you know, so the people, so you can be discovered? Uh, steps I've taken, well, first of all, let me start from the beginning. I started taking risky photos like that I normally wouldn't post. I would take photos. I think they're really cute. Make sure they have my shirt off. And I mean, as quiet as it's kept, some of the pictures I took, I take, I don't have any clothes on at all, but the fact that the way I take it, the way I made it look, it looks really nice. So you probably, people don't notice, but a lot of the time, a lot of pictures, there's one I definitely didn't have any clothes on, but you didn't see anything. And it kind of, I kind of took the idea from when the sports magazines take those nude shots of the athletes, but they look so beautiful. It's not vulgar. It's like, oh no, that was a really dope, like that's really beautiful. You mean like the um, what's that? It's a certain issue they do it every year. You talking about the ESPN magazine, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. They do new right. They do new shoes, but I mean, you they put them, they stop them on a magazine, but they look so beautiful that you really don't care. It's like, you know, I started taking pictures like that. So a recommendation to anyone trying to find love for themselves: just take risky photos. You don't have to post them. Just take them. That's the first step. You have to take them. Good idea. And then once you take them, you talk to yourself. You you talk to yourself and you work yourself through until you actually post it. The post. I think that last picture I posted, it took me at least two days before I post. I said, "Ooh, that's kind of a spicy photo." I don't know if I should post that or not. But it took me a minute, <laughs> and then I just said, "Fuck it," and I posted it. <laughs> that's funny. You said this is spicy. I was like, that's a little spicy. <laughs> that's a little spicy. I heard nobody say that. That's that's a new one. But okay, I mean, I can say to that, um, that's definitely a way to get comfortable with yourself, for sure. I mean, it might be a little, you know, might be a little out there, but I'm with it if you with yeah. it. Because whatever helps yeah. you get to self-love, I'm with it. Um, no. I definitely think that, that might be a good way. So, so now, um, the streets want to know when you, when you, when you, when you go, when you go, when you gonna be a mom, be ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to see people that look I'm still, on campaigns. I'm really, I'm actually still trying to figure that out, especially with the pandemic going on. It's kind of hard to book like photo shoots and things of that nature but i do have i do have a lot of homies that <laughs> that i do photo shoots. i would later all right okay. so what i wanted to know was when the people going you know we ready for you to be a big and tall model we the street <laughs> is ready i'm ready to see people who look like you on billboards so what 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 you wearing? All right. Well, I'm going to start taking more photos, uh, in different looks, uh, even put on, you know, a suit every now and again. Because it's been a while. Actually, I have pictures of me dressed up. I've just, I guess I'm not posting them to Twitter. And I guess I have them on my Instagram, but it's been a while. So you'll start to see more content like that on Twitter. I'm doing that more. Uh, posting, make sure my posts stay consistent, uh, more full body. Sometimes I get, sometimes it'd be one of those days where I just post around the selfie just for activity sake, but no, I uh, started taking the photos a little bit more serious quality. That's the thing too. Just really not being afraid to put myself out there and seeing if I can get that. Cause I'm actually starting to get attention from a lot of these other bigger thicker big boy pages i just had one share one of my photos to their stories and now that's brought in a whole another audience 
and I don't even think I follow this page, but the picture I posted of me just in my briefs has gotten so much attention. So now it's like other big boy pages are starting to pick up on those. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's interesting. You know what? I have not heard anybody say that in a long time. Why? You said briefs. Oh, well, I mean, that's what they are. They're not boxes. I mean, that's true. But well, like, boxer, boxer briefs, honestly, if I got to be more technical with the term. That's definitely something different. <laughs> okay. At least I know that's out. I said, just said boxes then, huh? Boxes they are. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's all right. He said earlier he's post spicy photos. So he's keeping it some muy caliente. Um, but so to go on and wrap this thing on up, what I wanted to know was so you said you come a long way in your journey. So one thing I want to know is like, what's one piece of advice you wish you can tell your 20 year old self? Uh, especially now that I'm 30. Don't be afraid to take giant leaps. Just because you fall and might hurt yourself those wounds heal Ooh. but the time but the time that you miss not taking those leaps you don't get back that's what i would say major that's what i would say now yep. and that's to any that's to any anybody getting in their 20s that's what i would say Yeah. My friends, that's how we're going to leave this episode. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. This was so much fun. I have nothing more to say after that. Let the people know what they <laughs> I ain't got nothing else to say. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, my Twitter is the dark skin Zeus. My Instagram, my Instagram is look at my pics underscore between the two O's. My Facebook is just uh -huh. Lonzo L. Wilson. Wait, what is that? I don't. Oh. I'm gonna find out later. I don't think I wanna know what that means on this podcast. What the oh, I mean, hey, they so they so the look at my picks has two meanings. The underscore between two O's, they can be eyes or they can be breasts. Either or your pick, hey, whether you're a creep creep that day or not, that's why I have the underscore um under under the under uh in between the two O's. That's what that's there for. Their eyes and boobs at the same time. To show not only that I that I that I'm looking, but I'm also a creep. No. I will never change that Instagram name ever. They like what they like, what is that? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> So everyone, this was the XL Trisman Podcast. I want to thank my co, my guest over here. I'm trying to throw it to it like over here. How do I get close? Over here, over here, over here, over here. Um, big, big Zoe, Lonzo, Dog Zeus, whatever he want to be called today. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. And until next time. Thank you. Until next time. <laughs>